it's like you know adrenaline pumping adventure so this award gives me flexibility to try this high risky high reward ideas today people have already mapped genome of most organisms that means we know most of the genes so after knowing the genome then we want to know protein because every gene is translated into a protein and the protein tells us which gene is translated which gene is not translated in a specific type of cells after knowing genome and the protein the next key step to understand biology and disease is to identify the human interactome now interactome is all of the interactions among proteins currently people use affinity purification coupled to mass spectrometry to map human interactome so this method um, is good at identifying strong protein protein interactions but it is limited in identifying weak protein interactions weak interactions allow proteins to change their interaction partners quickly under different conditions for example to control blood glucose concentration in response to a meal and uh, if this interaction is wrong then you may develop diabetes weak interactions are very important because it gives the cells or organism the flexibility to deal with dynamic environmental conditions we want to develop a technology um, to identify these weak transient interactions and this technology is not based on affinity it is based on the completely new principle i love to think outside of the box because it gives me the greatest pleasure when it works <laughs>